Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Zina speaking. Uh, today we will be talking about what is uh, eruption cyst. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more and more videos. Eruption cysts are benign cysts that appear on the mucosa of a tooth shortly before its eruption. As you can see in the pictures, the teeth that are having the eruption cyst are not yet erupted. That's why we are having an eruption cyst. And as the name suggests, it's eruption cyst. So it is associated with the eruption of the tooth. If the tooth is not erupted, which means that the patient is having an eruption cyst, and this is the picture for an eruption cyst. How does it look like? Now, in uh, very rare instances, you will be having uh, pain for the uh, eruption cyst because it's not like an abscess. Abscess, you will have a severe pain and you need to do incision and drainage for an abscess. But regarding the eruption cyst, rarely you will have pain. But maybe the parents will be concerned about what is this cyst that is appearing on my patient, uh, on my child's. Uh, mouth. So, in this case, if if in case in certain cases the eruption cyst is symptomatic, which means that you're having symptoms from it, just we will do a simple incision for it in order for to allow the tooth to erupt normally. So we will do a simple incision in order to clear the contents inside the cyst, and then after a few weeks, the teeth, the tooth. Uh, will erupt normally. But if asymptomatic, uh, if you're not complaining of any symptoms from it, then it will disappear by itself, the eruption cyst, within a few days or weeks by itself, without any intervention from us, a dentist. So a very easy, simple incision will be done for the patient. And we will only give topical anesthesia, no need for local anesthesia, because like for children, there will be less uh, nerve or blood supply reaching the area. So they will not be experiencing too much pain as of the adults. So therefore, topical anesthesia will apply. And then we will bring, bring blade number 11 or 12, and we will cut in the midline of the L cyst. And then we will drain the contents of the cyst. Once the contents are drained, within a few days, the tooth will erupt normally or uh, it will erupt afterward. Now, uh, do you know that the eruption cyst and dentigerous cyst are both synonyms of each other? But what is the difference between them? is that the dentigerous cyst develops around the crown of an erupted tooth lying inside the bone. So dentigerous cysts are seen in the uh, adults, whereas eruption cyst occurs when a tooth is embedded in its eruption within the soft tissues so it occurs in children. That is the only difference between these two. But if they ask you, does eruption cyst is a synonym for dentigerous cyst or the opposite is true? Yes. Both of these are synonyms to one another. One for the children, we will call eruption cyst. You cannot say dentigerous cyst in the uh, children. No, you will say dentigerous cyst only if it is an adult patient. And that's it. Uh, but both of these have the, uh, the same uh, uh, symptoms. They will be experiencing pain, like regarding the dentigerous cyst, they will be experiencing, of course, pain, and the treatment as well will be extraction for the tooth that is having the dentigerous cyst, because if not extracted, then the dentigerous cyst will return back and back over and over again. Okay. Now, what are the signs for an eruption cyst? As you can see in the picture, you will have a blue swelling that will be seen around an erupted tooth. Why the color is blue? The color is blue due to the biting force that is taking place by the opposing tooth, which can cause the blood and fluid to accumulate. So the color blue is a reflective of the amount of the blood that accumulates. Maybe it will be blue, maybe it will be purple, maybe it will be dark. This is how much the blood 
is inside the cyst. So the color is a reflective of how much the amount of the blood that is accumulating within the cyst. But anyways, it is completely asymptomatic if the parents are complaining of this cyst because of their of its appearance. We can just do a simple incision and drainage for their child in order to get rid of this cyst. In order for the tooth as well, in the other hand, to erupt normally. I am done for now. Thanks all for watching my video. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more and more videos.